don't Alrighty guys, so I'm starting off with a sip of coffee. I don't think I could do a video without coffee. I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Raw Sienna. And I'm just buffing that off throughout my crease from inner corner to outer corner. This is the first color that I am laying down. So for the next shade, I'm going to be taking the shade Love Letter and I'm taking that out of Morphe R37. Just really focusing that on the outer corner and dragging it all the way in. I'm going to be buffing this color all throughout the crease from inner corner to outer corner. Just really building up that pigment, making sure it's very diffused. <music> To carve out the crease, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer along with the Morphe M421. I know that I've done a lot of cut creases in my last tutorials. There's just something about a cut crease that is so satisfying, but I will definitely be switching it up in my next video. So I'm just carving out the crease and then I'm taking a MAC 217 to make sure that the concealer is laying flat for the next shade. I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Number no. 5 palette, taking that shade right there. It's kind of like a silver pewter champagne shade it has like pink to it i don't know it's a very very different shade but i loved it and these natasha denona eyeshadows are everything i did not have to spray anything on my brush it was pure pure pigment beautiful just packing that on the other lid and then taking the shade love letter just to kind of smoke out the outer part of where i left the concealer so that it's not too harsh and when we apply the next shade it kind of has like a gradient effect to it so for the next shade, I'm going to be picking up the Tarte Lip Palette and I'm taking the shade Bombshell. I know I've been jumping back and forth from palettes, but not one palette had all the type of shades that I wanted to use. Um, so I'm just really packing this on the outer corner rather than just buffing it out. I feel like packing it on the outer corner makes it a little bit darker and then I'll just buff it out when I get to the crease. And then I'm going to be picking up a wipe and just cleaning up the excess under my eye and really sharpening out the outer corner. So next I'm just picking up a little bit more of that love letter shade from the Modern Renaissance palette and running that throughout my crease. I really don't want to lose the pigment of that hot pink shade. I really love the way it just peeps through the whole look. For gel liner, I'm taking the Pretty Vulgar gel liner um, in the shade Blacklist and I'm using a MAC 216 for this step. Just really pulling the light outward and then dragging it back in, filling in the wing little by little. Um, it's definitely a challenge thing in frame when you're doing your wing on camera because I want to get so close to the mirror because that's the way that it comes out perfect but I did try my best so I'm just continuing to connect the lines and really just filling it in little by little. So for mascara, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, just giving my lashes a quick coat of mascara before I go in and apply some falsies. For falsies today, I'm going to be using the Style Dubai from The Makeup Shack. I've been loving these lashes, so just popping them on and really just pinching them together with my tweezers, just making sure that they stay in place. <music> So to start off on complexion, I'm going to be taking the Milk Cooling Stick and I'm just applying that all over my face. It's basically like a like a balm in a stick form, but it's very, very hydrating. It kind of like turns into water when you put it on your skin. And then for my porous areas, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I'm just applying that on my cheeks, on my chin, and the center of my forehead. <music> Foundation today, I'm using the Ultra Wear Stick Foundation from Lancome in the shade 320 Bisque. I'm just applying that on my cheeks first and then I'm buffing that out with a beauty blender. I used to really love this foundation when it first came out. I don't know why I stopped using it. It's very full coverage and it's like kind of like a velvety finish. It looks very, very nice on the skin. It has like a very smooth effect to it. So I absolutely loved bringing this baby back out. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and just highlighting in my usual areas. And I'm going to be blending that out with a beauty blender. So 
So next for cream contour, I'm taking the Tardius Pro Glow palette and I'm taking the shade Shade on a number 56 Sephora brush and I'm just applying that along my forehead and the other areas that I contour. Um, I would say the shade was just a little too gray for me. Um, this is probably like the fourth time that I try out this palette. I wanted to give it one more try. Maybe it was just me before. But I can honestly say that I do not like this palette. I don't think I'll be using it again after this video. Um, it's just the, the shades are just too gray and the highlighters are not as pigmented. But anyways, I am going to be setting my under eyes and the rest of my face with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Light. <music> So for bronzer, I will be taking that same Tarte palette. I'm taking the shade Sculpt on an Equal Tools powder brush and just going over the cream contour, um, really chiseling on my cheeks with this shade. I'm not a fan of this powder sculpting shade either, but I just rolled with it. Um, for blush, I'm taking the Be Fearless blush palette from Real Hair Makeup and I'm taking the shade Unstoppable. I've actually been into blush lately and I'm very shocked at myself because I am not a blush person but lately it's been happening and I'm here for it so yeah. So for the lower lash line I'm just going to be using the shade Love Letter smoking that out all, the all throughout the lower lash line and then on the outer part just adding the shade Bombshell from the Tarte Lip Palette. Taking the shades Lit and Fire from that same Tarte palette, I'm going to be using that on a Morphe M310 and I'm just highlighting my cheekbones with that, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. So to set down the makeup, I'm taking the Rose Water from Mara Badescu, nothing else is new, and I'm just buffing in that setting spray with my Beauty Blender. I was really into the music, and I'm pretty sure I was listening to Romeo Santos, that's probably why I was so into it. Um, but yeah, so for lips, I'm taking two shades from uh, Dose of Colors. This one right here is a shade Knock on Wood. I'm just applying this as my first shade. I really wanted like a very nude, glossy, caramelly lip. So I applied the shade Sand, also from Dose of Colors, uh, right on top of this. And then I just buffed that out with my finger. And right on top, I'm going to be applying the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Lip Gloss in the shade moon child i absolutely love this lip gloss it's one of my favorites all right guys so this look is complete thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video